This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Bagway Mellows back with another one. Big Bagway. Link below to the video on social media. I yell the wood. She said that she spotted me. It's not like the should. I got done rats and I'm still ain't good. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. All right, it's a rapper, Fujiano, as we know, was sentenced to five years for burning off his like tracker bracelet after the five years was in. He was on probation, right? burn the, the locator off then the judge throws him five years uh lawyers for workers reacting to this a lot of lawyers are reacting to everything now and i do appreciate it because they give like a more accurate response to the thing from a, from a law perspective and he's like of course the judge is it's probably one of the dumbest things you could have done was burn off your locator now you violated a whole different thing it's it doesn't matter what you were put put on probation or whatever for it matters that you violated the probation now. So now you're going to get the max five years. It's crazy. I mean, it's insane. You know, Fujiano messed his life up with this. Now, maybe he'll get compassion in two or three years. But I don't know. You know, it's like that was a crazy move, man. <laughs> I got to be honest. And Trey Songs got your girl out here let's be honest that's what really sucks about it trey songs was just chilling with his girl i guess him and his girl were like working that out and then this happens that's crazy it's probably the worst feeling in the world uh little reese uh gives an update says i'm good i'm not blind don't believe what they're saying on the internet i don't even know where they're getting all these fake stories from so he's recovering which is good uh, then we'll talk about the Brilliant Idiots put out a podcast. And they talked about Joe Budden. And Joe Budden and Charlemagne seemed to be tight for years. They did these like yearly wrap ups, they did pull ups together. And then at one point last year in the fall, Joe Budden and Charlemagne just kept going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And Charlemagne on this uh, episode said, you know, what was funny is we were talking offline, like we would talk on text and stuff and I would help him through stuff. But then when we got back on, you know, like, like when he got back on his podcast, he would be dissing me. And I can't, I can't, I can't rock with people like that. So I didn't say nothing. I knew, I knew he was lying about a lot of stuff and I didn't say anything. I just let it be what it was. And... Andrew Schultz made a good point that, you know, Joe Budden the whole time was talking about creators and everything and winning people over. Yeah, fight against the machine for the creators, for the creators. And then doesn't keep it real with his own people. You know, doesn't cut them or let them feel comfortable about the money they're making or this. Yeah, they were paying them money and this and that. And, you know, some people have an attitude, you should be grateful. Some people have an attitude with, hey, this is a business. You're an employee, and you deserve to feel appreciated. If you, you worked out a certain deal with these people, maybe you should have just renegotiated their deal. Say, hey, we're not going to have this Spotify anymore. We need, just need to renegotiate everything, and we'll sign new contracts moving forward. And then if we get another deal, that, it was just so mismanaged. So mismanaged. And there's way too many employees over there. Let's be honest. 30 employees? Come on. You're running a podcast. Small businesses that run, I think Clubhouse has 30 employees or something like that. It's, you know, they're, they're running a whole app. With, you know, it's like a podcast needs about, you need the people that are on the podcast and a couple other, a camera, you know, uh, audio. And, you know, the camera guy can edit the video. It's not that hard. And then you need a business manager. Maybe if you want to publish this and some other stuff. I mean, but like, that's a stretch. Um, Yeah, Joe Budden kind of like messed up here. He'll be fine, though. But Joe Budden always, Joe Budden always bounces back. I've never seen somebody so. He always lands on his feet. Then we got um, rapper Fatboy Guala. He was, his remains were found outside of a burning vehicle earlier this week. 
It was a Milwaukee rapper involving a local rapper turned up an investigation. Let's see, they discovered a body, but it was just declared a homicide. Jeez. Sad, man. But you know, it's like you got like a lot more street rappers now and I think that um, social media escalates things even more. People can find out where you are. It's just a whole escalation that's different now versus you could move in silence. Maybe even six years ago. It's just like social media is like completely inter... It just gets worse and worse. Let's just say that. Yeah, it was It was at one point. At one, you know, just every year it gets more and more intertwined in your whole life, you know? We now have phones that are scanning our faces. You know, it's like it just gets more and more invasive. And there's no way to get around it. It's just how it is. You know, you just got to learn to maneuver with the new technology. Pretty soon we're not going to have gas in our cars. Because that's how the government wants it. <laughs> Trust me. It's not saving anything. It's not saving anything yet. The, you still get your power from a power plant, which is made from fossil fuels okay don't let them fool you okay there is no there's not enough solar panels to power all these cars and your houses and everything electricity prices will go through the roof we will not save a dollar i'm I'm, I'm just going on a rant here this is just how i feel about it it doesn't make sense where the batteries go when they're dying when the batteries don't exist anymore right like say the battery's dead eight years battery you, you, you your iphone doesn't get the same charge it did when you bought it it's horrible now two years later that battery sucks it's pretty much the same battery okay so you get the batteries in your car a couple years go by you're not getting the mileage anymore you know a car you just got to replace some parts in the car you can't even work on your electric car how about that when your electric car breaks down guess what gotta go to tesla or gotta go to wherever it goes because you know what you can't work on an electric car it's almost impossible. <laughs> There's a guy who made a whole YouTube channel on it. It is crazy. Uh, then you're not getting the same mileage. Um, what happens to the battery afterwards? We're going to just have tons of batteries in the in trash plants. You know, we, we already do, you know, from all this other stuff. We're just have more. I don't think you can recycle these batteries. Uh, they just don't they th- they see this is what I don't get they seem like they think they have it all figured out and they don't and that's what I don't like about this yes we do need alternative fuel sure you know like we should you know we should have gas and other stuff we have natural gas vehicles now like from you know UPS they have natural vehicle natural gas vehicles they should probably move the USPS vehicles to natural gas you know like these are cars that are out all day you know like doing deliveries um, they I heard they're making alternative fuel where they're you can do like it, it it's not fuel made from oil it's made from something else but it'll still work in an engine that's interesting uh, but yeah I think you need a little bit of everything what was so bad about hybrids where it's like part gas, part electric. I thought that was pretty good. You get like double the mileage. You're you're burning a lot less uh, emissions. I thought that was a good idea. They totally abandoned that. They said, you know what? Let's just throw out the gas gas engine altogether. <laughs> I'll never get how they come to these conclusions. You know, Elon Musk took us down a weird road. And I feel like he started this company and built it up, built, built it up. And now he's so locked into this company that it, and what's so funny is he has two companies he has the spacex i think Elon Musk is a genius but i think he's into his own ego right now he has one one that's like fighting for a clean then he has this other company that puts out the most emissions anything could put out you're launching rockets to space and you're hoping that we can why, why are we abandoning earth so fast like yeah we got to get to mars man this is over it's a wrap <laughs> It's right. now, now we're going to figure out that there's UFOs now. They're going to figure, we'll launch this out next week. Apparently, there's vehicles that are shaped like a pill, and they're actually real. So, you know, what is going on out here? What <laughs> Things just keep getting weirder and weirder 
ever since the cooties hit us last year, you know? Ah, we're on a weird... This is going to be a weird couple of years, I'm telling you, man. You got cryptocurrencies jumping up and down like a trampoline every time Elon Musk tweets. Yeah, how can you have a market based on Elon Musk tweets? <laughs> it's crazy. Chinese, be careful of crypto. Chinese already said, yo, we're not accepting crypto in any of our banks. They, they outlawed it. That might be the rap because Ch China and Russia, their goal right now is to not, ex not use U.S. currency. They want to devalue the dollar. Once our, val our dollar is devalued, you're going to see super, super, super inflation. And we're in super, super, super danger. Because if we're not the, the main currency, we're not the main power. We're, things are weird, bro. Anyway, sorry about that rant, but got to talk about it sometimes. I appreciate you guys. Not to, not to freak you out. It's just like, yo, you got to be aware of these things. Like, you got to be aware. I'm not completely sold on electric cars yet. I think they're cool. but I'm not completely sold yet. I would always get a gas slash electric, like a BMW i3 or something like that. Like, that's a cool thing to me because you still have a backup. Like, okay, I'm out of power. I can get to my little engine right here and get to where I need to go. Anyways, keep keep motivated. Keep going, guys. Keep focused. Don't let anything get you down. I should be speaking this to myself right now because I've been feeling weird the past couple of days, but you got to keep moving, stay consistent, and try to get something accomplished each day to work your way out of any type of rut. I appreciate you guys, and I, th I thank you guys so much. I'll check you guys in the next video. It's Jordan Tower with JT News. Smash that like button, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Bagway Mellows back, back with another one. Big Bagway. Link below to the video on social media. I yell the wood. She said that she spotted me. It's not like the shoes. I got them rats and I'm still ain't good.